almost 400 years, the Royal Society in London has hosted leading thinkers to discuss how science can benefit humanity. From Isaac Newton to Charles Darwin, scientists have met in these rooms to consider the most important issues of the day. Now this venerable institution is putting on a series of events for the internet age. The first gathering is a one-day conference on machine learning, the process whereby computers are able to function without being explicitly programmed to. One of the experts talking at the event at the Royal Society is Nick Bostrom, head of the Future of Humanity Institute at the University of Oxford and author of the best-selling book, Superintelligence. He says there could be a point in the near future when machines are more intelligent than humans and we need to do more to address the potential risk of that. There will be this big junction in human history when we transition from an era dominated by biological intelligence to an era dominated by machine intelligence. I don't necessarily think that's imminent. In fact, I think we have fairly little evidence about the timeline for these developments. But eventually, um, maybe over the course of decades, or it could take longer, we will figure out how to produce the same general purpose smartness in machine substrate that, that make our brains uh, smart. And, and that that will really be uh, an invention like no others. It's the last invention, if you think about it, the last invention that humans will ever need to make. Because after that, you have this machine superintelligence that will be better at inventing than we are. Even if perhaps uh, this transition is still quite far off, the consequences are so enormous that um, it's still worth starting to think about it today. If you believe Hollywood, these consequences can look pretty frightening. Movies such as The Terminator and The Matrix suggest artificial intelligence could be the biggest threat to the future of humanity. And while Bostrom doesn't think science fiction films are a good guide to the future, he isn't alone in sounding a warning bell. The physicist Stephen Hawking, who relies on a form of AI to communicate, has said the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. Superintelligence is a potentially extremely powerful thing. Um, just as human intelligence is an extremely powerful thing relative to other biological creatures. That's what gives us humans this unusual and dominant position on the planet today. Like, it's not that we have stronger muscles or sharper teeth. It's our brains are just slightly cleverer than those of our great ancestors, and that has enabled us to develop technologies and plants and organizations. And so for fundamentally the same reasons, if you had something that exceeded our intelligence as much as ours exceed um, the intelligence of animals, uh, that thing could be very powerful and may be able to shape the future according to its preferences. So would you say one of the potential risks is that the, the device and the technologies we create could come to dominate? Yeah, I think that is, is one type of scenario that is possible. So the fate of the gorillas today depends a lot more on what we humans decide to do than on what gorillas themselves decide to do. Similarly, uh, if, if there were machine superintelligence, then our fate, the future of humanity, might depend on, on its choices and its actions. Um, it then becomes very important that the preferences of the superintelligence uh, coincide with ours, or at least is sufficiently well aligned that it would actually care about the same kind of things that we care about. And that's not something we can take for granted. We need to get our act together so that by the time we need to know how to control um, a superintelligence, we have solved the problem of how to do that. And it, it looks like, f from the limited amount of research that has been done so far on this problem, it looks like a really difficult problem. Are you optimistic of where we're heading? Are you neutral? Or are you very anxious? Given our current state of knowledge, it looks like extremely good outcomes and extremely bad outcomes are on the table for what we can see. I do think that the kind of mid-range outcomes, mixed blessing we kind of muddle through and things are kind of okay, but not that great. I think that gets less and less probable the farther into the future we extrapolate and that the longer term destiny for humanity, I think, is, is more likely to be in either of those spins, either extinction or something as bad as extinction or uh, an extremely utopian outcome.